Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you just a little bit about uh, cross-site scripting, also known as XSS. Um, and it's, I'm just going to show you like a really brief introduction of it. I don't really want to get into the details of it because it's, it's a little bit complicated and I don't know very much about it actually. Um, cross-site scripting is basically where you uh, put in your own information like text, um, that are actually uh, client-side scripts so that when other people view these scripts you you are able to steal information from them such as uh, cookie information which you can use to steal their uh, accounts on various maybe forums or message boards etc so you see if I like type into uh, Google uh, you know this is my text you see it, it shows this is my text so that means that it's actually taking the information that we give it and it's displaying it now um, this is how cross-site scripting works obviously Google is smart enough to filter things like this so that it doesn't actually uh, alert the script it doesn't actually say hi on the screen but there are very or there's a lot of uh, search engines and uh, forums and bulletin boards out there that actually do not have this filtering in place and I found one um, this website and I'm not trying to like break in anywhere I'm just displaying like how cross-site scripting works so you can use this on your own website to uh, stop it and I've pretty much done the same thing let's change this text uh, text will this text will show up if this search is vulnerable and uh, doing it this way uh, on this search engine doesn't really give us very much information. We can't really get information from other people this way, but it's just a, a simple way to show how cross-site scripting works. So if I search that, wait for it to load. Internet's being slow, of course. See, <clears throat> the text showed up. So we were able to manipulate the search to display information to us and um, I've actually created this is my forum um, just a little test forum where I've created a thread that will you see if I mouse over it I've actually put a, a script in there I've enabled HTML which a lot of pretty much every single forum doesn't have HTML enabled view bulletin but when I click it you know it'll show up so that every time someone visits this thread that'll show up so instead of uh, just doing a simple alert like that I could do something like uh, document.cookie which I'm not going to actually save because that once the cookie pops up someone can copy that and uh, use a cookie editor and they'll be able to access my account so um, this is what a lot of people do they just put these simple scripts in there but in a lot of time instead of uh, writing the stuff in here they'll have uh, the script hosted on a website so it'll be like badwebsite.com badscript.js it's javascript and um, what it'll do is it'll go out to that website grab that script and run whatever's on that script whenever someone uh, goes to this page so it's very uh, very uh, big security fall if something like that happens and here's a website that will give you a better like not really introduction but it'll it's just a bunch of different possible ways to check if something's uh, vulnerable and it's ha.curse.org you know just a period between the a and the c dot slash xss.html and uh, that's all I have for you now today and if you'd like to learn any more tutorials about security or C sharp which is my other tutorials I'll make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to my videos and head to my website in my description and that is it Quackware signing out